So, so basically, we're just eating a lot in this it's, video. It's a food day, like always. If you watch our vlogs already, you know it's food and coffee. That's we go almost food, there. coffee, food, coffee. Okay, so we have actually done our final checks. The place is looking pretty good. We are really sad to be leaving our little apartment. Um, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, it is sad to be leaving because it's been such a good little apartment. The building's really nice. It's just, it's been a bit of luxury. Very much luxury. Yeah, very much luxury to have an apartment, to be able to cook. Just, I just love that. But yeah, we are heading to a guest house over the other side of town this morning which looks really nice it'll just be like back to a bedroom yeah a bedroom rather than having all of this space i love all this space, all this space feels so nice love it but yeah this was luxury so we don't expect to have luxury all the time obviously no um so yeah Lovely. we're gonna head over <laughs> to my favorite coffee place that i've been to so far yeah and uh yeah do some work Our cars coming, so we just put to grab um, to get to our place. It's only 15 minute drive. Um, I think he's coming, but I don't really know. Okay, I think that we've made it. Let's go up here on the right, I think we're there. This definitely feels more like the Thailand we're used to. As in like, it's a bit more old school, a bit more traditional, a bit more rough around the edges. That Nimmin area was so modern. But no, it looks cool. Hopefully, the place will be what it looks like in all the pictures, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh, in the room, and I think it's quite nice. You're just hungry, aren't you? Lorna's hungry. So hungry right now. She's getting hangry. So this, um, don't know if you can hear it, but someone banging outside is not making Lorna very happy. But the room's pretty cool. <laughs> it's um, like I think we said, it's a guest house, so it's a bit more like a homely feeling. But I feel like whenever we stay in somewhere that isn't an Airbnb. There's construction. Yeah, there's always someone banging there's on something always outside. Always construction. He's got a metal metal <laughs> rod and he's whacking metal with it. Like so, I would be, I would say that's ninety percent of the places we've stayed. It has been so far. So let's it's see crazy. if that carries on till really late, or if it starts really early in the morning. Seriously, but, what is this guy doing? But we're gonna go get Lorna some food because she's gonna lose it. <laughs> like that they're literally like like you can snap them like yeah 
so unique. And then on the side, I actually have no idea what that is, but that looks like shallots, like little red shallots. And then we've got a little bit of lime, which I'm gonna squeeze over. But it smells amazing. And I am very excited to try this. I'm going to whack in everything that they've given me because that's obviously how you usually eat it. That's what you should do. So they wouldn't give it to you otherwise. So I'm going to be stinky. It does look very good. I'm going to, I'm assuming this is what you do, you just lob those in. This is like the tastiest curry, but then with noodles. So it's like my perfect combination of Thai food. <laughs> and these crispy little onions. The onions or the noodles? I think they're noodles. I think they're noodles, but because of the flavour of the broth, it like has like a, an oniony taste and texture to it. I love it. This is like my favourite meal I've had in probably since we've been in Chiang Mai to be honest. Okay, so we just finished up with lunch. That was 250, so that's just over six pounds for two lunches with two beers. So that's pretty awesome. And we're now gonna head to a frozen yogurt ice cream parlour place because I've been wanting some Froyo for ages. And I finally found one and it's like a 10 minute walk, so we're gonna head there now. Basically, this is the hub of the touristy bit. Yeah. So you got like the Starbucks, the um, what was the other one? Boots. Oh, Boots. You got all like the normal big brands. So we're gonna try and yeah. walk in a little bit, get to this Froyo place that Lorna found, Yay. and um, yeah, just venture around and just see what this place has got to offer, really. But we're overall, inside the wall. We're inside the wall, <laughs> exactly. and got like a pre-designed one. Because if I'd done a DIY and put stuff on my I would have ended up spending like 600 baht on some ice cream. So <laughs> we did the safe option. I got one called Healthy Fruit and it's mango and peach froyo with lots of fruit, with some granola. Tony went for, what was it, a honey and banana? Honey and banana, so honeycomb, um, drizzled honey and then banana as well. They are good. And they're not a bad price, it's just 120 so it's not bad. And it's so nice to have on a hot day. And they have so many things, they've got smoothie bowls, they've got vegan smoothie bowls, they've got ice cream, they've got froyo, they've got, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> okay, so that was a very good idea by Lorna to come and get a froyo. That was so tasty. And now we're gonna head back to the room. So the next time you're gonna see us is when we're going out to the night market. So. so basically, we're just eating a lot in this it's, video. It's a food day, like always. If you watch our vlogs already, you know it's food and coffee. That's we go almost there. Food, it. coffee, food, coffee. So yeah. yeah, see you next time we eat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're going out for some food. We spent a few hours. Lorna was doing the vlog. I think she's got it all ready to be uploaded. Um, hopefully, the internet isn't horrendous later. <laughs> it looks like it's quite good. So yeah, Lorna's our little guide right now, telling me where to go. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that bodes okay. <laughs> We've got a 10 minute walk apparently to the night bazaars. We're gonna go check it out. Now we know that this one is on every night as opposed to the Sunday night market, which is the huge one that everybody talks about, which is obviously only on Sundays. Yeah, it's Friday today. So, yeah, it's yeah. Friday today. So we're gonna go check out the one that's on every night. Um, but I'm not sure if it's as good for food. I think it might be lots of gifts and crafts and things, but I guess we'll soon find out. Yeah, there's one way to find out. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to where we think the night bazaar is, but the place we're in now is called the Ploen Rui D. <laughs> Confidence. Night market. Yeah, I have no idea how to say that. And it's suddenly like looking a lot nicer. Yeah, we're gonna have a little look. I don't feel like I see much food. Oh, I see a bit of food. Yeah, let's look. There's 
long time 10 minutes. <laughs> I think that's what he said. Been to wait 10 minutes, that's yeah. not long. There is so much food here, it's like impossible to choose, but we found something that was quite cheap. So we got the chicken satay and I got it with garlic bread, which is a bit random. Um, and then Tony got it with a potato. And then we're going to get a drink and yeah, it's really cool in here. It's really pretty, they've got the fairy light thing going on, they've got the nice food trucks, like some really nice ones. And yeah, looks good and cheap. A bit random. I didn't think I'd ever be getting a sangria in Thailand. But there we go. Turns out the drinks here are actually quite expensive um, compared to the food. So that seems mad. So I thought, it's crazy. So look, if you're going to pay that much for a beer, screw it, I'm going to get a sangria. We'll share one because we're cheapskates. Yeah, we're cheapskates. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Mm. You know what? It's actually really nice. It's actually really good. So now, just waiting for our ticket to come up. Wait, and next. then we're going to go get food because I'm starving. Good delivery lady tonight. I am. I'm bringing all the goodies. There we go. I find it very strange how they serve it with garlic bread, but there we go. Yeah, it's a decent amount of chicken. We've got the satay sauce, the cucumber, and garlic bread. They're 80 baht, which is That's less than a beer. Less than a beer. Okay, so as it turns out, that place was like 80% food. We thought we weren't going to find much food there, but it was like all food. But that wasn't the place we were supposed to go to. <laughs> We've just come to somewhere called the Night Bazaar. What's the first name of it? The Calair. Calair Night Bazaar. That's what we thought we were coming to. We're here now, but we've eaten. So <laughs> we'll just have a little wonder and yeah, see what it's all about. Okay, so we had a quick little look around the food things. We don't need to eat again, but we just wanted to know what it was like. And it's definitely a lot more like your greasy pad thai type stands. Whereas the other place was like food from all over the world. The stands are really nice, kind of like the cool food trucks. But this one doesn't feel as nice, but it's not really any cheaper. It's kind of the same, but the beer is cheaper. It was 65 instead of 100, so depends what you're here for. If you're here to get drunk, then maybe come here. <laughs> the other one was nicer in my opinion. Yeah, it was nicer. <laughs> the whole bizarre thing is like, it's down like one big road and then there's various things lining the road and then going off of the road. So you've got food courts, you've got stalls all along the road. You've got all kinds of things going on. Okay, and we're back in the room. Yeah, after that <laughs> slightly sketchy uh, walk. Yeah, it's very sketchy roads around here. Yeah, and like, <laughs> I don't, yeah. I, we just saw another load of rats, and this time they were all very much alive, and there was a whole gang of them. Whole family of rats. A whole club. That was, <laughs> I have never seen that many rats. Ever. So on that note, we'll say goodnight. We will. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Ignore the, uh, the wine bottle up here. That wasn't me. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> going the wrong way. Oh, he's going a different way. I don't know. I think we found the goat for it. Does that make you happy? The place is pretty cool. I feel like Jack Whitehall's father right now. <laughs> if you watch Travel with my father, you'll know what she means. We just saw a rat, and then we saw a dead rat. So it's not a good start to the evening. Walking on the road as per usual. Yeah, it's pretty much the standard here. Yeah, it was, uh, oh, that was a nice smell. Is it a pack of rats? A group of rats. A huge group of rats. <laughs>